Shorts of YouTube, you're looking at the brand new U Unique that you showed us yesterday. Uh, we already have the pack here. We already did the unboxing yesterday at the launch. You can check out our, our detailed unboxing and first look video there. Here I'm going to quickly take you through what's inside the box and then we'll uh, straight away go to the hardware and then the performance and user interface and those kind of things. So there you see a typical U box, 100% recyclable material. On the back side, you have some uh, quick specs here. Um, it has a 4.7 screen HD resolution protected by Gorilla Glass 3, Snapdragon 410 chipset, 1.2 gigahertz uh, CPU. You have 1 GB RAM, 8 GB ROM, 8 MP plus 2 MP, Android Lollipop 5.1 and 2000 mAh battery. And this also could be one of the cheapest 4G LTE enabled device. This one cost 499. This will be available starting September 15th exclusively on snapdeal.com. Once you open the box, inside you'll find the phone. Of course, we have already opened the box yesterday, but I'm just showing you that's the device. I'm going to uh, come back to the device just in a bit. When you go further in, you'll find some manual and warranty card here. So that's the warranty card, that's the star information, you get a free screen guard and a cleaning cloth. Then on this side you have the micro USB 2.0 cable. You have uh, the entry level earphones. Now I did not open it yesterday, let's check them out. Silver plated audio jack, first of all, no volume control, only call control and mic. And they're kind of an in-ear types. So these rubber buds will go and fit in your ears. So this kind of better in noise cancelling. So not exactly those ship uh, cheap entry level ones, but still the decent ones. 850 milliampere wall adapter. So those are the content of the box here. So I'm just gonna uh, put the box aside here. And then let's come back to the phone. 4.7 inch, you see very, very glossy surface. It's attracting lots and lots of fingerprints the back side has a nice rubber coating on this but that also attracts fingerprints if you can uh, see closely and particularly if you have an oily hand or wet um, fingers and those kind of stuff it will attract them very easily this will go easily just in one rub this will take some time so the 4.7 inch screen HD resolution gorilla glass 3 2 mp front camera and then your um, LED lights and stuff. And then here you'll have the soft cut keys, nothing much here, micro USB 2.0 port. Uh, the power button is here in between the volume rocker. So this is up and down volume, 3.5 mm jack, eight MP out of focus camera, LED flash, and your speaker grill. You can open the back flap, although there are no hole to open that. So you have to take hold of this micro USB port there. Once you open it, uh, this is not very tough. The 2000 mAh battery, dual SIM card slots and micro SD card slot that supports up to a maximum of 32 GB in addition to the already present 8 GB of internal storage. So overall, uh, well, a very usual phone. I mean, there's nothing much to write home about because it's a 4.7 inch screen obviously fits very nicely into hand. So that's the Unix uh, HD screen, 4.7 inch screen. Well, I have it in adaptive display, but despite of that, I see that the adaptive display is slightly on the lower side, maybe to uh, save the battery or maybe unintentionally, but then this is slightly on the lower side. Of course, you can go ahead and uh, adjust the brightness right from here, display, and see suddenly it becomes brighter, a lot better. The icons are, well, bright enough, crisp enough because HD resolution on a 4.7 inch is actually quite good. Um, I think it's undersaturating this part a bit. The blacks are okay, fine, no problem. The viewing angle is not great. I see just about there starts to change color. It's not an IPS screen, it's a TFT screen, so that's how it is. Overall, uh, well, an okay display. A great thing about this device is that it runs on Android Lollipop 5.1.1. So despite of being just under 5K device, 
you have the latest Android version. That's incredible. And thanks to you for providing that. We're going to go ahead and check out the storage. So out of 8 GB, you have just over 3 GB of free space available. Of course, we have some pictures and videos out there. You can add that there too. But yeah, not going to be much more. Let's check out the RAM. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill all this with this one. And then let's go to apps and see how much RAM it uses generally. I do not have any additional apps installed on this system as of now. So out of 1 GB, you have 412 MB of RAM uh, free. I think when I checked it out, just um, you know, after just opening the box yesterday, just slightly more, uh, slightly over 50% of the RAM was free. So it's uh, some process are already running on the background, but still you get uh, in between 40 to 60% of the RAM free if you do not have any background apps. So it mostly runs the stock Android uh, UI. They have the uh, white background, dreaded white background. I absolutely hate this white background. Anyway, so you have most of the apps are from Google out here. You see, you have the U universe. I think that's about it. And some of the in-house tools, of course, like video players and file managers and FM radio and those kind of stuff. But no third party apps, no bloatware. Absolutely brilliant. We did some HTML5 test on the default browser. You can see 487 out of 555 is actually incredible. And then you have your gallery and then the dialer. Everything is almost stock Google. That's the messaging app. You see? The music app is also Google Music. Let's go ahead and check out the camera here. So 8MP camera, quite fast actually, you can start your video from right here, you can just tap to take photos, you see, it just brightens up the screen meaning it's taking a still, you can also pause that and then it comes to the 2MP camera which is not bright at all, does not have any detail almost useless you have some of these fancy shit and then you have the max the front camera can record is 720p good you can check it out you can have it at no limit i generally keep it at no limit and then storage and then white balance when you go to the back camera you have some more options you have flash options you have video quality now increases to full hd Again, video duration by default, I think it's 10 minutes, but I generally keep it in no limit. And then into storage and white balance and those kind of things. That's for video. When you go to still, you'll see a lot more options. So max is 8 MP, you can see. And some of the other options here. So we checked out the image and a video quality. They are only about average. Um, again, nothing much to write home about, nothing special. Uh, from the 8 MP camera the details are okay under inner flight but if you zoom in you'll see lots and lots of noise not uh, very fit for printing but of course you can um, upload them to social media sites the lens shows lots of lens flare but that's expected the color rendition is good it's uh, well it's it's not uh, oversaturating any color however um, it, it kind of clips the highlights a bit. Under low light, the uh, detail drops drastically, both in terms of, both in case of uh, photos and videos. So first thing first, when you keep it on a flat surface, the sound output gets uh, reduced, gets affected. Number two is there's decent amount of bass and also the speaker is loud enough. But, but because of that loudness, you get slight crackling sound here, you can see. You see? So it's crackling and breaking down a bit. Overall, I like the loudness. We also checked it with the supplied earphones. 
uh, the base is still not great. The earphones uh, are, are, are relatively okay in the uh, mid range, but uh, I think overall I would use my premium earphones with this. We can check out the video and see how the video looks on this one. So I have a full HD video running here and let's see how it looks. The phone is great to hold in any position because of this back, by the way. The surround sound is good. But because of the poor or below average viewing angle, uh, you probably, you know, would do good watching movie alone. Overall, the user interface is smooth enough but uh, you know we have been using this phone in medium to high uh, intensiveness since yesterday and we found that whenever you do not kill your apps whenever the background apps kind of pile up um, the user interface quickly starts showing a lag and also while you're playing games and even if you're uh, you know do a video shooting for let's say even for like you know over uh, seven ten minutes it kind of heats up here hits up considerably the call quality is excellent the reception is also good at times i heard slightly muffled sound from the other end but i think that was just freak or just uh, just because of uh, the location not um, you know not much to do with the antenna here overall yeah a good you decent user interface but again nothing special so then would you buy the u unique well, I suppose you would never buy this as a primary ca uh, primary phone. So obviously you're not going to expect uh, this one to do your primary job, obviously. So you won't expect very high end features. If you're a student, probably this could be your primary phone. This can be your primary phone because this is very adequately loaded. Best thing is the price point. You're getting 4G, you're getting an 8MP camera, you're getting a decent HD screen. HD screen on 4.7 inch um, display is brilliant. You get a good uh, speaker output. Uh, well, uh, all, these, all these are very decent. Remember, they're not very special, but then the price is absolutely special. The competitors are, uh, you know, from its own Micromaxes, uh, Canvas Spark, and a few other phones, uh, even the Redmi 1S and even the Redmi 2. Uh, but I think this one will hold its own. I like this uh, phone in general. It has a lot of good things going um, for it. Some of the things that are against it at first, I do not like the auto brightness level. Second thing, the front camera is uh, poor quality. And then both the back and the front side attracts a lot of fingerprints. Uh, apart from that, I think this one makes a pretty strong case at 5000. Well, if you like this video, please hit the like button, ask anything related to this phone, and we'll try to answer them all in the comment section. And please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love. We also will provide you some best buy link in the video description and possibly in on screen as well. Uh, if you go through those link to buy this, you do not pay anything extra at all, but we get a very small commission, often in single digit percentage, like 1% or 2% or those kind of stuff. But that will still help us keep uh, this channel alive. Thank you.